Hello everybody, welcome back to Love the Welcome to Redemption. I'm Katiaiko, and in the last episode we saw that little scene with those guys and fought the one death, which I'm gonna call him Fabulous from now on. We fought Fabulous and kicked his ass pretty good. And that's what's we're gonna continue on to the Forest of Pain. And uh, everybody's levels will be maxed out by the end of this, as well as the um, Avatar Awakening level will be maxed out by the end of this, which is kind of cool. This is my third time recording the post commentary because the first time my kitty cat unplugged my mic and the second time Audacity froze. Isn't that cool? That's cool, isn't it, kitty? You like that, don't you? It's a bitch. No, we really it sucked. So post commentary is really annoying. Just just because post commentary I gotta um put the video in Sony Vegas, then edit the video, and then I watch it as I post commentate, and then I edit the audio, take out all the noise and stuff, and then I watch it again to make sure that there are no audio peaks or mic puffs in the audio that I'm just recording right now, so it's annoying. Hmm, kitty kitty, you sleeping on me, aren't you? Come into my room and meow at me. So I pick you up and put you on my lap with I'm recording my audio. Watch me fail that chest. Awesome. So pretty much, yep. I've tried to record this audio, like, this is the third time, it sucks. But oh well. Yeah, at least we're doing things. Did I already show that after Awakening's level 9? I probably did. I wasn't paying that much attention to the video, because paying attention to videos is for losers. Okay, not really, but still. I'm bored. I'm sorry that I'm bored. Uh, it sucks. Uh, did, I, did I mention? I can't remember what I talked about anymore, because I tried to record this three times. And this is the last of the video that I got recorded. Four hours of recording ended up being two videos. What the fuck is that shit? But, oh well. Happens. It happens. I think I stopped on, I want to say like floor 85. I think I have 15 floors or something more. And then I'm done. Which that'll probably be another four hours, but whatever. After that though, it shouldn't be too hard. I gotta do the... Um, in fact, the guys in the arena. And the bounty hunter thing. And pet the kitty. Oh, and then the end special parts that I'll show. Which that'll be fun. Or more, probably more like fun. But you'll see when I get there. It's the reason I have to match everybody's affection, is just say that. Although, if you've played this game before, you might already know what I'm talking about. Kitty, don't unplug my mic, please. Don't do it. I don't want to record this audio again. Still recording, please. Anyways, though. That is what I've got to do, and it's not fun. Kitty, kitty, please get your head off the cord. Let me just put the cord on your face. Good. You're a weird kitty. Aren't you? Aren't you? Don't bite me. He's so mean, man. Like, I, I let him sleep on me and I pet him and he repays me by biting my arm. He did it earlier, I was trying to trying to edit the video and I pushed, went to go push S to split the video so I could, you know, cut out a bottle. And I moved my arm in front of him and he's like, mine, chomp! And I'm like, ow! What did, what did I ever do to you? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? He's so mean. You show me. Yeah, put my hand over your face. There we go. Enjoy that. Done. <laughs> I don't think you like that. Oh, I flipped his ear. I turned it inside out. Whoops. Oh well. Pet the kid. This guy is really weird looking, by the way. Just look at his giant ass tongue. Pretty much the same strategy I use for every single one of these bosses is just to use the dual guns to get a lot of hits on them so I can Rengeki them and I use the weapon they're weak against in the Rengeki and then be able to trigger back to the, back to the dual gun. 
things. It seems to work pretty good. At least I hope it does. Because it's annoying. Isn't it, kitty? Eat recently. I am so hungry right now. I haven't eaten today. I woke up and I started editing this video. It's 2 o'clock now. I woke up at 1. That's what I get for going to bed at 3 a.m. Actually, I could have woken up at 10, but I didn't because I slept too long. Because what? 3 to 10 is 8 hours, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Point is, I slept till 1, and I shouldn't have. Nope, the cat jumped off me to go to the bed. Yeah, I'm sure the bed's more comfortable. Huh. <laughs> Weird cat. Weird cat. And there goes the bus. It really bugs me that I can't get any more virus cores. It's like, hey, look at my avatar awakening. Whoosh, virus core is up. I have 99. I can't hold anymore. It sucks for me. In the moon. But whatever. Whatever. Get some alchemy real quick. Yeah, alchemy. I'm glad that I got high enough guild that I can do that because that would be so useful since I can't leave. Can't leave. I wants us to do 110 hit combo, so when I was in the middle of doing my combo, I actually got it up to 250. I go, haha, suck on that. 250 combo. Screw 110. Oh, and then the assassin chimps came like dumbass bastards. Damn assassin chimps. I just kind of kicked a few and then ignored them. <laughs> Ignoring them. Six moves in. This feels like forever when I do post commentary because I'm not actually doing anything. I'm not actually doing anything. I am just sitting there and watching, and then I get bored and I stop watching and I go on YouTube to see if what subscribers have uploaded. And Brutal Moose has uploaded a thing that I'm going to go check out because Brutal Moose. It's just like I'm bored. Look at the map. Let's see what Firefox has. Nothing on Facebook. Facebook is boring. Facebook is so boring. Like, you wouldn't expect- uh, people are like, oh my god, I love Facebook, and I'm like, you know what? I'm really bad with social media. I don't update my statuses on Facebook, I don't update Twitter. The only thing I put on Twitter and my Facebook page is if I upload a new video. And I don't even post it to my Facebook page because I have my Facebook page connected to my Twitter. So I think I post my Twitter, gets posted on my Facebook page because I'm too lazy to go post it on both. I just- I, social media is not my thing. I much prefer to use messengers and talk to my friends than just post a random status like, Hey, that's what I'm doing today. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Yeah. Game explain analysis on covers hidden details about Pokemon X and Y. I don't really care. I do like Pokemon X and Y and I do want to get the game, but I don't really care if you find new things, because I'll find them out myself when I get the game. And I don't really like this one. I'm on a website, by the way, that has game news. This one says, Vice President Joe Biden says that violent video games could be taxed. That sounds stupid. That sounds really stupid. If you're gonna tax something, why don't you fucking legalize weed here in California and tax that shit? Don't tax the video games. Whatever. What else is on the news? Xbox reveal venue large and under construction. Don't care. Castlevania. Don't care. Pac-Man. Okay. Um, at this point, I've already got it. Things I've already read. Have you guys heard? Apparently, the new Xbox is going to be called the Xbox Infinity. That's cool. I don't really care. I don't really like Xbox. I've never gotten an Xbox before. I'm probably not going to start now unless there's a bunch of games that I want. The only other games I've really wanted for the Xbox was like one, two games. One of them came out on the PS3 and I bought it. The other one came out on the PS3 only in Japan. But fuck it, I watched the Let's Play of that game, so... At least I got the story. I didn't get to play, but I got the story. Konami 2012 pre-E3 show streaming on June 6th. Does Konami even make anything I like anymore? I don't even know anything I got recently that was made by Konami. Don't even know. Konami, what do you even do? 
Because I don't know what you do. And apparently Konami is 40 years old. Good for you. Good for you. I'm bored of this. Whoops. Oh yeah. I made... I did a... Um, a Windows 7, for those of you who own it. And probably Windows 8 as well. I don't see why it wouldn't be a Windows 8. If you take a, a window and you slam it onto one of the sides, like the left or the right side, it makes it half screen, you know, it goes halfway across your monitor. Uh, I did that with Sony Vegas and Firefox, so I was watching the video while I was looking at Firefox news stuff. And when I made the Sony Vegas full screen again, it, uh, one of the windows that I used, it made it like really small and I had to fix it. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't matter. Oh, I should warn you, this group, this block, five floors right here, all of these enemies have, um, like, some sort of armor ability, where if you attack them, you get charmed, and if you get charmed, you attack your teammates, and you're fine if you use your dual guns, because the dual guns, you don't get status afflictions from them, but, um, Zelkova, there's my avatar waking level 10, Zelkova and, um, Shino can get charmed, and they will attack you, or Sheena will heal the enemy. And you can get charmed if you get hit. So you will attack your teammates. So cool by them and Sheena. So watch out for those guys. If you have some sort of thing that blocks charm, that's good. But I don't. And I don't have any stun healing items. So I figure I should warn you though at least. This this block of five floors, these enemies. As well as the boss, I think, can charm you, so just watch out for that. Cause it sucks. Because it sucks. I think I got charmed like two or three times because I got hit when I was trying to kill him. So Kova got charmed all the fucking time though because he's a, a frontal attacker and he goes in and smacks shit with the face with a scythe. So Zalkova got charmed all the time and she got charmed every once in a while. Probably because she knows getting hit though and not because she was hitting the enemy. Yay, look at all those stuff I got. Smoke Bomb is kind of cool because it lets you run from like every battle, but I never used them in the first place, really, so... I think I might have used it once when I ran into, like, Doppelganger or something. Well, whatever. Here's the bossy boss, and at this point, at some point, I play the, uh... I use the Avatar Awakening. I play that at normal speed so you guys can enjoy the new looking of the Avatar Awakening in its full glory, and did not sped up because... That would suck. I don't know. Whatever. Again, same strategy though. Dual guns until I run Geki able. Until I can run Geki and use the weapons weak against them. Double trigger back to dual guns. It's a very good strategy if you ask me. I'm so smart. But here's the awakening. It looks pretty cool. What do you think? Wasn't that cool? That's the maximum avatar weakening. Can't get any higher than that, as far as I know. So there you go. It's cool, and it's very long, so I will obviously be skipping it every time I use it. Unless I really want to see it, because it's just cool. Because to say I was a badass, and that's reason enough to do anything. Right, kitty? Hey, he's on my spot of the bed. Don't you have your own spot, cat? I thought it was on the bottom right of my bed. Why are you over where I am on the top left? That's where I put my head. Dick. Well, whatever. Whatever. I switched to the new YouTube channel layout, by the way, since they're gonna force everybody to switch in like 10 days anyways. And I have a crappy banner because I'm not sure what to do for it, so it's just a crappy temp banner right now until I think of something cool. Yeah, that's how that works. But I put my Let's Play voting video on the front page, so that way anybody who goes to my channel will see it and hopefully 
vote. You guys need to go vote. I know there are people who watch it who don't comment. Go comment and vote. Other than that, though, that is it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.